Okay, we're gonna make ourselves some scroggin. So scroggin is your trail mix or your snack food. It's gonna keep you going in between meals during the day. So, sandwich bag or a Ziploc bag, and we're gonna fill one of these for each day. So that way you can ration it out during the program and um, you can pack some of them away so it's tucked away for later in the week and you've just got one bag accessible each day. So we've got a range of different foods, high GI, some high energy stuff, and some low energy, low GI that will give sustained energy release um, to keep you going. So we've got some savory type things, popcorn, pretzels, um, maybe a Nutri-Grain or some types of cereal, some biscuits or soy crisps, um, seeds, repeaters, pumpkin kernels, that sort of things. Um, maybe some beef jerky, so there's sort of savoury things, carbohydrates, then we've got fruits, and dried fruits, so mango, um, strawberries, uh, apricots, or apricot coconut, just plain dried apricot, banana, apple, sultanas are good, or craisins, or dried cranberries, and then a small amount of high high sugar, high GI, some chocolate, choc sultanas, Licorice bullets, snakes, tubes, that sort of thing. So we've just got to make sure we've got a balance of all these things that will give us a bit of energy but also a long energy expenditure. Okay, so you don't need to have all this stuff, just a few of these things but a, a balance so that you've got a mix of your um, high and low glycemic index. So we can just do it a couple of ways, you can tip it all into one big mixing bowl and mix it all together and then just scoop it into a bag or you can just go through with your bag, put in a little bit of popcorn, put in a few pretzels, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a few seeds, a little bit more of that, then throw in some of my fruits, so I'll put in some sultanas, put in a few apples, then some bananas. Now, minties, starbursts, anything that's individually wrapped, don't want. Um, it just makes more rubbish that you're going to have to carry out. M&Ms um, are really good because they tend to melt less quickly than other chocolates. So I'm going to pour a few of them in. And a couple of snakes. And then a few bullets. So there we go, that is a nice little bag of snacks, a couple of muesli bars to go with it, and that is an awesome snack bag um, to keep me going for one day. So one of them for each day. Now, I don't really like sometimes misking my sweet and my savoury, because if I want to mix some of my biscuits with my snakes, it makes my biscuits go snoggy, soggy and makes my snakes um, go salty. So another option might just be have a bit of a savoury snack bag. So my biscuits, got some soy crisps. And pretzels. Have a bit of a bag of savoury stuff. And then have a second bag with some of your uh, sweetest stuff and your fruits in it. So I'll put a few apples, sultanas, a few more M&Ms, a couple of snakes, a few bullets, and then. That way I've sort of got a bit of a sweet bag, savoury bag, a couple of music bars, and that's just another way of doing it and separating it up a bit. Another good idea is just to try and get rid of the air out of your bag. Just crack the corner, squeeze the air out, just less chance of getting popped. Takes up a little bit less room in your pack. So hopefully you guys can uh, or make yourself up a little bag or two of each day, usually bar or two on the side to go with it perhaps, and um, 
that will make for happy trails on camp.